Well, hello there, everybody. Uh, welcome to my channel, Wisconsin Hugs. My name is Tony Grillo, and that is my dog, DJ. And uh, just uh, hoping everybody had a great Memorial weekend. Um, I'm about to DoorDash in a few minutes. But I thought I'd make a quick video. I was uh, watching some videos on you, you know, YouTube videos uh, the other day, and I came across this one video with this interesting exchange that was going on between a, uh, a Muslim scholar, uh, a doctor in theology, uh, and, and he was up on stage addressing uh, like a conference or something, uh, a bunch of his, you know, uh, Muslim brotherhood and sisterhood, and a Christian lady um, uh, had an interesting uh, uh, exchange with with um, this this doctor, this very well educated, smart guy, um, and and the exchange was was pretty awesome, and I want to play some of it. But what was really great was the comeback. I mean, that she gave to this guy. Uh, she had an answer that I think, you know, whenever, if you're a, a, a Christian like I am, you believe Jesus is the Messiah, and, you you know, you get into a debate with people who are non-believers, uh, and and some of these people are, you know, they, they have read the Bible, um, and, and they seem to have answers for everything that, you know, does not support uh, your belief uh, that, that Jesus is the Messiah and it's hard to debate those people um, and so she she was in that situation and she had the perfect response uh, uh, and and uh, I, I want to play that for you because it's, it's just so good I love a I love a good slam uh, uh, when it happens and and this this was one of the best I've heard in a long time was the Bible revealed in English, sister? Oh my God, okay, listen. Listen. I can't wait for her to respond. I don't know what she's gonna say, but I feel like she's about to say something. Something good. Yeah, it was Greek. Greek and Aramaic. So the original word is Hotios. Do you know what the meaning of Hotios? Go home and Google. Hotios, maybe I'm pulling a fast one. All right, one. sir. All right, wait, wait, sir. Wait, wait, wait. Hotios it's... means the God. Tantios means a God, godly person. That means even if I agree, it says Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was a messenger of God. Do you believe in that? No. He's, bi he's bigger than messenger. He's not just a messenger. It's an sister, insult to call sister, my Lord sister, a messenger. Sister, mm. sister, I ask We will what... do something to prove something, sir. But first say that what you quoted is wrong. You agree it is wrong, then we go to the next question. I don't agree. That means what you said is it's not word of Jesus. That means you're fooling the people, right or wrong? Did you... you... You thought I did not know, correct? No, I'm, I'm not here to demonstrate knowledge, sir. I'm it here is not to the question of knowledge. It is the question of Bible. You believe Bible is the word of God, correct? Yes, I do. I don't believe it is the word of God. Even though you believe the Bible is the word of God, I know Bible more than you, right? There is one thing to know the Bible. There is another thing to have the revelation of the Bible. Because, you know, even when Jesus came, the people who did not understand who he was were religious leaders. They missed big time. Sister, they did not know who he was because sister, he was hidden. And the one of the New Testament. One place in the Bible where Je and, and Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I need to hear that again is the word of God, I know Bible more than you. Right? There is one thing to know the Bible, there is another thing to have the revelation of the Bible. Because you know, even when Jesus came, the people who did not understand who he was were religious leaders. They missed big time. Sister, they did not know who he was because sister, he was hidden. And the one of the New Testament. One place in the Bible where the un un unambiguous statement, unequivocal statement where Jesus Christ That was by far the best slam I have ever heard any Christian give to a, somebody, a, a non-Christian, the best answer, especially one that is very uh, educated. 
Um, that was awesome. <laughs> when I heard that, I about just my jaw dropped when I was watching that video, and I was like, "Oh wow, did she have an answer?" And, and his voice went up, and you could tell he was angry because it was he knew what point she was making, uh, and that was the fact that even the educated people the educated religious leaders uh uh the people that were alive during Jesus' time they had no clue as to who Jesus was even though they were the the educated religious leaders uh of that time they 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 did not know who Jesus was uh and and she was made that point telling him that he's the same way he's the same as those people are and it is it is it is incredible um, the response um, and 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 she made that other comment about about uh, about having knowledge of the Bible and having the Bible being revealed to you I really liked that comment as well um, and you know there are quotes in the Bible where you know Jesus actually does say he is you know the the he is the son of God. He, he does say that. And, you know, like there was that one time Peter, you know, uh, he asked Peter who he was. And then he told Peter to be quiet, not uh, not spread it around. Um, there was another time where he said, like that other gentleman said, he said, uh, 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 I, I, I knew I met Abraham, you know, I was I, I, I know what Abraham looks like, you know. Uh, and so that, that would imply that he was eternal, that he was alive when Abraham was around. Maybe he was even the spirit that came down when Abraham was about to sacrifice his son because God told him to do it. What's interesting there is that a lot of people believe that part of the story in the Old Testament, um, Abraham was about built that altar and was about to sacrifice his son in the very same spot that Jesus was crucified, okay? So, uh, and then it said an angel came there and told him not to do it and told him to back off because God was trying to show Abraham what was going to happen to God's own son. And so, and, that, and they think that angel is actually Jesus that came there and told Abraham not to, not to, you know, uh, uh, sacrifice Isaac. So, yeah, it, it comes down to faith. You either believe or you don't. And um, you, you almost have to have the faith of a child. Uh, and that's that's how it works. So, anyways, I got to get going. I got to get to work. Uh, and so I just thought I'd say hi to everybody. I hope you all have a great rest of your holiday. And uh, that's about it. Wisconsin hugs. <laughs>